Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and today I'm taking a first impressions look at, let's try to say this properly, Nihilumbra. Nihilumbra? Nihilumbra? I don't actually know how to pronounce it properly, but anyhow, this is a uh, 2D side-scrolling platformer that was originally developed for the iOS before recently being ported to Steam, so I thought I'd take a look at it. Void? That's a different game. We already looked at that. You are born. Alright. We've been born. Have a little black blob. And we can slide. What are you? You shouldn't be alive. You will never escape from this place. This is not a game. Where are you going? You are part of this place. Nothing can forsake the void. Nah, I'm out. You don't belong out there. You have escaped from the void. Now you are in the world. Please, come back to the void. I told you nothing These escaped. small lights will forgive your mistakes. Checkpoints? You left the void behind, but it is coming to get you. The void must be won. You cannot escape from it. Now, I'm going to guess that as a platformer faith. designed for the iOS, this game is probably not going to be super difficult, since you normally be controlling this with just touch controls. Don't worry. You are safe for now. Now Even if you change form. your shape to match this world, you are still an outcast. You will need more momentum to jump here. This is a beautiful place, but it's not for you. You were born from the void. You are nothing in this world. What is this? A color? It's not an object or being. It's a property. Everything can have a color. Even you. You are about to learn something new. Your existence can change the world forever. So if this narrator is not of the void, then who is he? Some omnipotent being watching us? Wow, this really is the void. You can use colors to transform the ground. Blue will allow you to slide. Slippery surfaces allow you to go faster. The faster you go, the further you jump. This new color is yours to use. Now 
now with the power of blue, we can get across that gap. You will need more momentum to jump here. You are fascinated. This place is magical. You may be empty, but you have learned how to change the world. Just a little bit. Just enough to leave a small mark. You are new to this world, but you learn fast. Remember, there's a switch for every door. Keep pushing. Don't hesitate. You can break the box, but another one will replace it. I'm not exactly sure why. Okay. Some errors can be undone. If you give color, you can also take it away. turn into a friend. It only needs a small boost. Wait till he turns around. Pro box juggling technique. so cold because you are empty. Also, apparently the original iOS version didn't have this voice acting at all. It was just, you know, the messages popping up instead. You are nothing. Nothing at all. Not anymore. You are nothing. Nothing at all. You are not fast enough. You are not strong enough. You are not agile enough. But you can be. I guess you are smart enough. You have no memories. Everything is new to your eyes. You are newly born. You can't wait to see more and more of this place. It's an inhospitable world. You are not part of it. The world surrounding you is becoming colder and colder. It doesn't care about you. 
It isn't aware of your existence. Can you feel it? Everything is against you. Advancing is becoming a challenge. Why do you keep struggling? Doesn't it make sense anymore? You are alone. Be patient. It's all about timing. If you rush, you're doomed. I'm just walking straight and I'm not having any problems. You are like a child. You don't need a reason to do anything. You just... You should take shelter. You will be safe inside the cave. But if I'm empty, why do I even need to be safe? This cave looks like a safe place. The blizzard won't reach you here. It looks like someone else wants to use this shelter. This is a Kralagar. Try to keep away from them. They are mad and hostile creatures. Though there's something in them that seems familiar. Well, they're the same color as the Void, so clearly they're Void creatures. All I need to do is slide over him when he goes under here. Run! They were created in the void, just like you. They are your brothers and sisters. They are after you. Why do they hate you? You shouldn't pity them. You must be prepared to eliminate them, if you have to. This is your chance. Try to make them slip down into the abyss. Already there, Nader Rider. Those monsters were created by the Void. They are soulless. Why do they want you? Why won't they leave you alone? Why are they your enemy? What have you done to them? Watch out. Those monsters were created by the Void. They are soulless creatures. Why do they want you? Why won't they leave you alone? Why are they your enemies? Watch out. Those monsters were created by the Void. They are soulless creatures. Why do they want you? Why won't they leave you alone? Why are they your enemies? Watch out. <laughs> well, shit. Those monsters were created by the Void. 
They are soulless creatures. Why do they want you? Why won't they leave you alone? Why are they your enemy? Watch out. Can I just not like, ice slide across this gap? Maybe they are not alone. Maybe the whole void sent them after you. You feel something strange. It's something really unpleasant. Oh. Could it be? Just the tip, that not You feel something strange. It's something really unpleasant. Could it be... fear? Something awaits you. It's the void. Cheese it. I just walked into it anyway. It has found you. It will find you wherever you go. Escape the void's grasp. You belong to it. It will chase you forever. Okay, don't press that button. It will chase you forever. The frozen mountains are being destroyed. Another leap of faith. Are we going to slowly cause the destruction of the world by leading the void through it? You are in a new place now. Forget about the frozen mountains. They weren't your home. You have no home. This looks like a forest. You feel something strange here. Something wonderful and new. What can it be? A new color? You want to have it, but it's not the moment yet. All right, so the new color is green and it's bouncy, kind of like the uh, the various colored gels in Portal. Everything can bounce on green ground. Everything can bounce on green ground. If you try to jump while bouncing, you will do just the opposite. This place is warmer. You don't feel as cold. Maybe you are not as empty as before. 
maybe there's something growing within you. You are in the forest, a breathing place where the mere breeze feels like the air abandoning the lungs of the earth itself. There's a huge difference between these magnificent trees and the inert rocks you left behind. But what can it be? What's the difference? You can't explain it. Nope, nope, can't explain it. Another color. Another chance to learn something new. Another step to become something better. And when we obtain all the colors, we'll understand life itself. Green color will turn the surfaces bouncy and elastic. The higher you start, the higher you will bounce. There's no way to gain height while you are bouncing. You must think right before the first jump. You must think that a new color will make things easier. You have learned everything that you need. You can go back now and resume your journey. Other than being 2D platformers, uh, this and Dust aren't really that similar, but it reminds me of that for some reason. It might just be that the narrator kind of sounds like the Blade of Ara narrator in Dust. I hope those aren't spikes on the roof. This place. You feel a little bit warmer here. What could have changed? Maybe it's just the world around you. Or maybe there's something awakening inside your lifeless body. Something that breathes. You have a new color, but don't forget what you've already learned. a new color, but don't forget what you've already learned. That's what she means. Hey, use ice, stupid. It seems that they are everywhere. You are growing up. You can survive on your own. You don't need a narrator anymore. Anyhow, I think that'll do it for uh, this look at Nihilumbra. I'm probably saying that so wrong. And uh, yeah, it seems pretty neat. You know, it's got a 
it's got a mechanic. I mean, a lot of people say that, hey, there are 101 indie platformers, and all of them are only slightly different because of that one mechanic. And you know, maybe that's the case, but I think it's the mechanic that makes them different. And in this, you use colors to change the world around you. I like the style, too, and the sort of scarecrow-y design of uh, our void critter here. And I like the narrator. Got nice music. It seems like a nice little experience all around. I imagine this probably plays better on PC than it does on iOS, but it is available on iOS. Though from what I can tell, the uh, PC version is slightly redone. You know, the voice acting is added and the textures are all upgraded and the music's slightly redone. So this might be sort of the better version. But again, this is $10 on Steam and probably like $2-$3 on iOS. So, it really it depends. Do you want the better version or the cheaper version that you can play on the go? Anyhow, this is Nihilumbra. I've been Shadefire, and I'll see you all around in some other mysterious world. Till then, you folks have yourselves a good day. And remember, color is everything.